Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at 100 Great Essays, which is the most self-explanatory title of all time. Uh, it is a collection of 100 essays. Uh, these essays are don't really have a central unifying theme other than being well written, although they do tend to lean towards being uh, informed by the American condition, a lot of American authors, this sort of thing. Um, they also tend to be well written, which is kind of the point, or be historically significant in a general sense, or historically significant in the context of writing specifically. Um, and so this sort of uh, is what the essays are. Uh, the kind of purpose behind this book, or what seems to be the purpose, is it is a uh, learning tool for writing in the context of academia where you know you're probably a lower level English uh, type thing or lower level English class would use this as an example of this is a good essay we're going to deconstruct this essay and it gives you a, a volume through which to engage in deconstruction also at the end of each essay is a, kind of like three essay questions for you the reader if you wanted to write on the essay just as a sort of essay prompt type of thing and so it's definitely meant to be both studied and uh, read. I really enjoyed this, but it is tremendously, tremendously difficult to read and or, or not read. Uh, it's tremendously difficult to review uh, and sort of summarize. Obviously, I can't summarize a hundred different essays. Uh, this would be outside the scope. And so uh, I think maybe just talking about the project of reading and the project of writing, which this is intended as a tool for writing, uh, might be a little bit useful before we get into the ratings, but probably not for too long, which is, uh, I, I think that if you are developing yourself intellectually, actually and this is a goal, that it is important to be able to think uh, in a very clear way, and it is important to be able to absorb ideas. And uh, I think that reading is extremely important, and being exposed to different ideas, especially ideas you might disagree with, is important. And um, this book might be slightly useful in that regard, but also I think writing is important, or being forced to clearly articulate your ideas. Um, it is a much different uh, sort of activity than, you know, uh, just thinking through your ideas, um, even if it means not necessarily writing, but like um, making audio recordings of your ideas, like this here now is a sort of, it forces me to uh, crystallize my thoughts and clarify and try and be as clear as possible. And generally when you try and make your ideas clear because they are trying, you're trying to make them understood by someone else, this allows them to become a lot more well-defined and also it allows you to notice uh, problems with your ideas and this sort of thing. And so that to that extent, I think the exercise of reading an essay and then reading the prompts in the back of this book uh, or in the back of the essays for this book might be an interesting loud car outside. No, it might be an interesting sort of way to kind of engage uh, mentally because you're getting a novel stimulus from this variety of essays that are coming from all different directions, but also, you know, you're um, thinking through, even if you don't engage in the writing itself, you are thinking more actively while reading. And I think reading actively is an important um, task uh, if you want to try and, if developing yourself intellectually is something that you're interested in. Because just passively consuming, um, you know, like media, like for example, I mean, we're here on YouTube, which is more passive than, let's say, reading, uh, because you actually have to do the activity. And with reading in particular, you control the pace. Um, unless you're increasing and decreasing the speed of, uh, you know, YouTube videos, for example, uh, in a very active way, let's say, you're not really controlling the pace, although you can increase the speed or decrease the speed, this sort of thing. And so... I think this book would be useful on that regard. Uh, so let's get into the ratings. Um, again, very strange, actually, it's just strange to review this book because it scored so high on all the ratings because almost everything in there is like an excellent piece, uh, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't deserve an 8.08. An 8 I wouldn't recommend it on this basis, but let's get into the ratings and talk about them. So for utility, I gave it a, a 6.5 because I think being exposed to interesting ideas uh, as well as strong prose, all for the most part, uh, everything is either really well written or is historically significant. Um, there's a lot of things that are historically significant and aren't necessarily that well written, uh, but uh, you know, if you want to be exposed to things that are in this vein, um, the book is tremendously useful. If you're trying to work on your writing, I think the book is very useful and is useful within this context. Um, now, maybe I should have scored it way lower on utility on the basis that, man, this thing is huge. 
This is a 700 page book. If you're reading this to get better at writing, then there's probably a more efficient read, uh, you know, to get better at writing. If you're just like cover to covering a book, this is like a compendium or reference like material type of book more so than like a cover to cover thing. And so maybe this would be like kind of uh, a, a way to think about it. I found it like tremendously interesting, you know, just like read one, of, for a while I was reading like one essay uh, a day and then like I was reading one a week at a different point in time. And so it's taken me about a year to read through uh, all of this um, because I haven't been pushing it very quickly because it's unnecessary. I only need to, the, the usually most of I, books about ideas or stories, they scaffold off of each other. If it's a hundred just different essays it reading it uh cover to cover is not important so um for novelty i gave it an eight uh this is mainly because you get a dose of so many different ideas and perspectives and a lot of these actually uh really made me think and were interesting in that regard and um i really valued that and i thought that that was interesting and it's much more rapid fire than you know reading a 300 page book where someone has a central thesis they state the thesis and then they give a supporting argument for this thesis and so in terms of velocity of ideas something like a hundred great essays or like compendium in general uh, will tend to overperform and so I was happy with the novelty uh, I in terms of just seeing a bunch of new ideas now were they necessarily ideas that I thought were just extraordinarily important to be exposed to not really and so it doesn't score like absolutely super high on novelty even though it's like rapid fire and a lot of different ideas uh, they're not necessarily ideas that if you're not exposed to them it's like oh no what do I do um, okay uh, for entertainment I gave it a nine uh, generally speaking, uh, very fun to read most of these things. Uh, the writing is very engaging. The writing is very strong uh, as a matter of style. And so I, I was pretty happy. Maybe it should score a little bit lower on entertainment because there's some that are a little bit of a slog, but there is quite a few, you know, uh, for the most part, they're not picking like stuffy uh intellectual like sort of it wouldn't be like a uh, hundred great philosophy essays like these are essays that are interesting to read uh or sorry in entertaining to read not just interesting to read which like if you were to read a hundred great philosophy essays there'd probably be a lot of fairly stuffy ones and it's not uh on the stuffy side because the practice or what is uh, important in this is that the writing is good or there's a few where the writing's not spectacular but the they're historically significant or something to this effect okay uh for style unsurprisingly nine now i didn't give it like a 9.5 uh which is the kind of the upper range i don't think i've given a 10 to anything uh but i i didn't give it a 9.5 because there are some that are just not as well written uh but for the most part the prose is extremely strong i think in general uh the prose in essays tends to be stronger than the prose in like novels or long form books uh in general and so because you can you there's a lot of like uh, authors using cool devices and this sort of thing and like uh different ways of representing things rather than just you know trying to get through the slog of a book it's all much more compact and uh, I, I think that the style just tends to be stronger but again uh a hundred different uh authors ranking their styles a bit tough for readability i gave it a nine kind of similar reasons on that front and for interest i gave it a seven uh there were uh, I, I think that if you are going to read this or pick this up or this sort of thing, you should probably just pick and choose, not just brute force read through all of it. Um, and there are going to be topics that maybe don't sound tremendously interesting. But, uh, you know, there's an intro paragraph where they talk about first the author and then an intro paragraph where they talk about the work uh, at the front of every single essay. And so this is uh, makes it pretty easy to pick and choose uh, which ones you would be interested in reading. And if I were to suggest it, I would suggest reading it in that way, not just cover to covering it, even though that's what I did. Uh, um, because it's like, you know, I want to finish the book. Um, and so this is kind of the ratings. Uh, overall, as far as recommendations go, I would not wildly recommend this book, um, except to people who are already reading and or already writing a decent amount. Um, I think that uh, if you're trying to build a reading habit or this type of thing, uh, that the f book you should select should just be something incredibly short because you're trying to get the ball rolling. Uh, finishing a book feels incredibly rewarding uh, and reading a 700 page monster, even if it's well written in a lot of places might be a little bit daunting, especially if you come across some of the harder essays and this sort of thing. And this would not be what I would recommend to, you know, uh, most people because most people don't read a lot and most people don't write a lot 
However, um, if you read a lot already, uh, I think throwing in this sort of mix uh, in order to just, like, uh, boost the novelty and, like, break up some of the monotony of, like, trying to just, like, cover to cover, like, 300-page slogs, um, you know, uh, allowing a little bit of uh, uh, breaks in between for a different style, different ideas, um, this sort of stuff, really uh, putting the novelty in there, just, like, I don't know, spike your dopamine, something like this, I think is tremendously useful. And also, I think that if you are trying to find um, ways to develop yourself as a writer and you are trying to write more, and also if you're trying to develop, like, just in terms of your ability to evaluate ideas, writing is important to, to that end. Uh, there being prompts at the end of extra, every single essay uh, can give you something to work through if you want to, uh, to treat it a little bit more like a workbook. I didn't do that. Uh, that's a little bit... Uh, if I had intended to only read 10 of the essays, this might have been something I could have done and pick and choose 10, and maybe that's a good way to engage in the book, but since I wanted to read all the essays, I don't want to write 100 essays um, as well uh, on these uh, various essays. Maybe I could have done 1 in 10, this sort of thing, but I would more recommend it um, as what it seems to be, which is a tool for people who are trying to develop their writing skills, and also if someone is just reading a lot in general uh, as a way of like breaking uh, things up and having a bit of novelty and this is kind of the front on which I would uh, recommend this so not super broadly but uh, uh, you know uh, I would still I still liked it also probably uh, there's a more new updated version this is the fourth edition I got quite some time ago so I'm assuming there's a fifth sixth uh, type of edition. Um, as far as kind of just like thinking through what rating I think this deserves, it would be definitely a lot lower, um, you know, kind of in the sphere of like maybe a low six, um, something like this, and not an eight. And uh, because if the larger reason why I would kind of rank it like that is something that's not really a, a category, which is like, uh, does this book fulfill a certain specific need in a really, really good way? And Maybe it does in uh, it, to the extent that it's kind of helping you, uh, giving good examples of writing and kind of helping you to think through writing and to engage in writing and this sort of thing. But the the top there's no unifying topic, and so there's no like reading it as a book to uh, you can't evaluate it because it's 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 a collection of stuff and reading it as it's like a reference material almost. And so reading it as a book singular in itself, there's no purpose to the book other than the project of reading and writing. Like there's no central thrust. Like if I if I read most nonfiction books, they will have a sort of central thesis that they're trying to support and something like this. And this is just not present in this. And um, which makes it like tremendously more novel. And also it's a collection of just good style. So it's going to score good on style in a way that's like not necessarily fair because other nonfiction books are trying to do a greater uh, a different sort of project rather than just give you a hundred different takes and like uh only take takes uh or takes essays that are extremely well written and so it might not necessarily be appropriate um to rate it in this fashion i just wanted to like exit with that caveat like it's not uh it's an 808 with an asterisk uh but anyways i hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to uh leave a comment like subscribe all that sort of stuff it does help out and other than that have a good one